Hey, you guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Farah, and I am so glad that you clicked on my video today. First of all, I wanted to thank all my new subscribers, and there are hundreds of you guys. I am absolutely speechless. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I recently posted a funny kitty cat short, and it just went over the top. And <laughs> yeah, it just brought a ton of subscribers. And so I'm just so very thankful to each and every one of you. You're awesome. You're the best. Thank you so much. Anyways, this video is a whole house clean with me. I did not obviously get to my entire house, like my basement area and stuff like that. I have a 600 square foot home, so that would be <laughs> really difficult. This video was already almost 40 minutes and I really don't like posting a video, like filming a video that's over 30 minutes because sometimes it takes a long time for me to upload due to the fact that I'm way, I live way out in the country and I don't get the best signal in this area. But yeah, this video was longer than I anticipated. But anyways, so I'm going to tackle my room and then my bathroom, like the master bathroom, and then I'll head into the kitchen. The kitchen it was a disaster. We had just made hot dogs and tacos. So it was really messy in there and just lots of dishes. And then I head into my living room and give it a good cleaning. I also was able to get some laundry done and organize and declutter some shoes on our shoe rack out in our garage. So plenty of motivation in this video. Feel free to clean along with me and um, yeah, we'll be chatting throughout this video. So thank you so much y'all for being here. So to all my beautiful new subscribers, my name's Farah. I am a mom of seven children. I currently homeschool six out of seven. My oldest, Jacob, he is about to turn 22. He's a Marine. I love homeschooling my children. I just love the adventure and the closeness with them. Um, I am a Christian conservative, and I'm a staunch Trump supporter. I hope that doesn't offend anyone. I love living way out in the country of the Midwest. It's so beautiful. We get all the seasons, and this season happens to be my favorite. I am a fall baby. I don't know if that's why I love the fall so much, but all the, the changing colors of the leaves just are so beautiful vibrant and gorgeous here in the fall. But I love making cleaning and organizational videos. I also like to throw in maybe a day in the life here and there or a grocery haul. If y'all have any requests, let me know down in the comments. But again, I thank you guys all for your support and for watching this. And let's get back to cleaning.
So the adorable bracelets I just showed you guys were made by my daughter, Naomi. She has made this one of her new hobbies. Her and her sister actually love making them, but she is selling them on my Etsy shop. Each are $3 a piece, except for like the set you just saw with the cookie charms. Um, and it said best friends. One was best, the other was friends. Those ones will be $6 for the set. So you get two for six. So they're totally affordable and she makes a variety of colors. So if y'all would like to take a peek, I'll leave my Etsy shop name here for you guys to take a peek if you'd like. But I do also sell my um, epoxy pieces. I create epoxy like geodes and stuff like that and so those will also be there if you'd like to take a look also my daughter naomi has her own youtube channel and i thought i'd give her a shout out her channel is doing really really well she passed me up <laughs> so want to check her out her channel name is love naomi oh and she posts mainly shorts and they're just so cute she has the cutest channel and she's just very creative but if you know any like have any daughters or teenage girls send them her way they will love her and i will leave her channel linked below down in the description box hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city, let's drive to the open. Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get So heading into my master bathroom First I'm going to start here at the vanity area And then I'm going to work my way over to the master bathtub uh, I'm going to change out my shower curtain I want a whole new look. Right now it's currently like a dark gray, but I'm going to switch it over to an ivory colored one. If I dare, my husband's a mechanic. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't end up having grease stains on it within the next <laughs> couple of days. But then I also need to clean up my toilet area and then we will head out to the kitchen. Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life on one so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i wanna make it count honey come on now and take my hand yeah we only give one life i wanna make it count honey come on now and take my hand So I just noticed that I had some laundry that needed to be done here in my room. And then there's plenty here in the laundry room. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort through these. I'm gonna separate the darks from the lights. 
and I'm gonna get a load going. So who here separates their clothes? I've been doing it from the beginning because it keeps your white clothing brighter for a longer period of time and I just cannot stand dingy whites. I've known some people that actually separated their lights, mediums and darks, and even though I'm OCD, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I'm just particular with my whites and my darks. But I feel the darker colors stay nice and vibrant as well. Hey, I wish you could see yourself. So now I'm in my garage. I'm going to declutter all these old shoes and boots that have been sitting here for <laughs> seasons. <laughs> and some of them, like the soles, are completely off. So, but I always have a new pair of shoes and an old pair for my boys. That way when they go outside and play, they don't ruin their new shoes. And then we just rotate them like as the newer shoes start to get kind of grungy, we'll use those as their play shoes and then I will buy them a new pair of shoes. So it's a nice little system we have going, but yeah, it's a little overdue out here. I should have decluttered these a long time ago, but life is busy, as I always say. So a nice fresh start, lots of room, no more stacking shoes on top of each other. Two full trash bags, y'all. So this is a shower curtain I'm gonna change the gray one out with. Isn't it adorable? It, I loved the ruffles and I got it on clearance at Walmart for five bucks, which was a win. But I think it looks so much better, you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I'll show like a before and after. I will also be switching out the rugs. I got this beautiful ivory colored rug at Aldi. And I plan on buying a second one for the other end for getting out of the bathtub. So it was a mess around the bathtub area. As you see, I spilled some Epsom salts. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the mirror and the bathtub area a good wipe down. The tile around the bathtub is really, really dusty.
So who else is done playing the waiting game? (laughs) So now I'm going to go ahead and give my bathroom floor a good mopping so that I can head into my greasy, nasty kitchen and start getting it nice and clean. They say the kitchen is the heart of the home, and I would have to agree since I probably spend (laughs) half my life in there cooking, preparing food, and cleaning (laughs) Of all the areas of the house, my kitchen has got to be clean. I hate dishes in the sink. Crumbs sticking to my feet, so I vacuum two to three times a day in the kitchen area. I just cannot stand (laughs) walking on crumbs. I also sanitize our bathrooms two to three times a day because children are not the most sanitary. Just some of the things that make me OCD, I guess. But another one would be that I cannot leave my bedroom until my bed is made because it just starts my day out so much fresher. My mind is clear and then I can move on to the next task. I love, love, love these plant-based non-toxic method toilet wipes or all-purpose wipes. They are perfect for cleaning the toilet. They just make the job easier and more convenient and I usually will go over the toilet with the wipes and then I will wipe it down again with some dry paper towels. And you ever wonder if days like these Last with one another, with the feeling pass, would you find out with me if it all starts? Search the pieces for hope or a mumble. It's not.
for one another Are we just another project? We're both fixer up So time to fold some clothes and I'm gonna go ahead and have my oldest daughter Judah help me. It just gets it done all the more faster when you team up and do it. I'm not a lover of doing laundry and I especially do not like folding and putting them away. I would rather do the dishes, y'all. I told you guys it was pretty bad in here. The kids ended up having hot dogs and then Keith and I and Jacob had tacos. <laughs> That's just how it worked out. It doesn't, we don't usually make separate meals except for, for like Gabriel and I, cause we are gluten free, but I need to get all these dishes done. First, I'm gonna clean, like put away the food, the leftover food, and then I'm just going to start washing um, the dishes that will not be able to fit into the dishwasher. The dishwasher is nearly full. I'm gonna get as much from the sink into the dishwasher that I can fit. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wash the rest by hand. So let's get this mess cleaned up. I need my kitchen back. fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -hmm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on
so I've already got a scrub mommy, but I saw this box of multicolored scrub daddies at Lowe's and I had to have it. I just thought these were the prettiest colors and I loved the orange for like the fall, but I love Lowe's you guys for my, I, that's where I get all my cleaning supplies. I just absolutely love all their cleaning supplies, but how cute, there's a little like base for me to put my scrub daddy on, how cute is that? So as you can see, there was an oil spill here on my stove top and I had a heck of a time getting it off. The scrub daddy didn't cut it, but the steel wool that I end up using did get rid of most of it, but I am so done with the stove top. We need to get a new one. I really miss cooking from a gas stove top so i'm hoping that in the future that's what we will be replacing this with nice clean kitchen back. Y'all, I'm going to be sleeping good tonight. <laughs> so now I'm going to tackle my living room. Gotta love all the pillows and blankets on the floor. That would be my three youngest boys. <laughs> and as I told you that we homeschool, this is the area we keep a lot of our like read alouds and our Bible because we do Bible first thing in the morning. My planner and just stickers and just stuff like that. But this these French door windows are so dirty. As y'all can see, I have not cleaned them for quite a while. So I need to clean 
both sides of these windows and then I will start picking up all the mess. Please excuse my wet hair. I had just gotten out of the shower. I was plum tuckered after cleaning that <laughs> nasty kitchen. So this is obviously the next day. I ordered this olive artificial olive tree off of Amazon and I really really like it it came with a basket that I'm not <laughs> real fond of it's kind of cheapy I'm probably gonna go buy a nicer basket to put it in but I just love this olive tree you guys it was just so bare in this area I just needed something right there but I've just had my eyes on these little olive trees for quite a while now, and I just love the look. But what do you guys think? On to my last task. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the room up with a good vacuuming. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a video. I want to thank you all again so very much. My video is, that little cat short is still going strong. It's over 400,000 views at this point. And wow, <laughs> I just can't thank you guys enough. Your support is everything. Y'all have made me so happy. So until next time, you guys, stay safe out there, smile, be happy, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.